We are going to get into champ three. First off, virus. I'm glad you're using gangster. You know, maybe like one scrim a week or something. I know it might not be as competitive, but it's nice to kind of get out of a comfort zone of a, a really restricted scrim league in a high school league. All right, so this will be champ three. Virus is usually like grand champ two. Uh, his teammates are like champ two, champ three. We could say average lobby, champ three. Let's try. I mean, the lobby looks fine to me, Virus. Lobby looks good. Uh, like, we're definitely having, like, an impact problem. I'm just kind of, like, waiting for us to do something. So far, about our only impact is getting the ball up the field, but it kind of stops there. That's a good challenge. Let's try. I like your team. You guys have chemistry. I I just nice try, nice try. That that was that was very close. I just feel like we're. Uh, I feel like we're. That was a good play. Not about that play, but I feel like some of these challenges were out of position, and that's why we can't really do much with the ball. I feel like our touch is getting away, like we don't have control, but I feel like it's rooted in positioning. I, I want to look at our positioning slash rotations. I almost feel like we could play a little bit tighter. Because, like, you see this play right here? I totally want you going for this ball. But, like, see how we have to, like, chase the ball? I don't really want to, like, change your positioning or rotation on this. But just for example purposes, like, we have to chase the ball. Like, we're not, like, in a perfect position. So, therefore, can't really get a control play right here. And it looks like touches are getting away. But I want to try to show, like, another example of positioning. Let's try. The way I see this replay right now, the general problem is like overall impact on the field. It looks like our mechanics are breaking down, our touches are getting away, we're not controlling. But I think all of that is because we're just slightly out of position for some of the plays we're going for. Again, like our impact is kind of like with getting the ball out, getting the ball up the field. I'm just trying to think of how to. That works. I don't know. I just feel like we're rushing. And I feel like we're rushing because of positioning. It's a completely different replay from last week. Completely different. I mean, you're still the same player, but... Hmm. Rushing. Like, I know what the problem is. Impact.
I I just feel like we're rushing, man. Cuz it's like I mean, it's really easy to identify problems. One being impact, two being rushing, cutting off teammates. I feel like everything is encompassed with rushing the play, but I don't want you to like fake challenge or play defensive. I want to maintain this aggression. I feel like you don't realize how much more time you have for these plays, whether it's a shot, a cut, whatever it is. Part of me wants to say positioning, but part of me, it's like it's decision making too. You're just rushing your plays. I really would like to see you slow down. Not like slow down for ball control, but like like literally a half a second or a second. Just approach the play a little bit slower. Take your time. Try to keep your first touch close. I mean, we talked about this last week a little bit, but it's like positives. We move the ball up the field well. That is, that is our impact. We transition. We move the ball up the field. I feel like we're overdoing it on offense. And because we're overdoing it, we're not getting boost control. We're not demoing. I feel like we keep cutting this rotation, which is cutting off teammates. And cutting this rotation is good if you have a teammate all the way back here. But you have a third man right here and you're cutting in front of your third man. But all of this is like encompassed with rushing. Like you... You're rushing on offense, which is causing you to overcommit. Not like badly, but overcommit. So then you have to rush back and we don't get our boost control. We don't get our demos. And then you're like, oh, got to go for this. And I almost want to see us, if you're going to rush and I want you to play fast, I want you to play crazy. I want you to play crazy up the field like you're doing. Like do it to get the ball out, to boom the ball out, to transition. Create your offense. I almost don't even want to touch it, but like I know we're overdoing it. You're going for plays that are just not there. Like trying to fit mechanics or fit a play. Like I kind of just want you to take a touch, boom the ball, take a shot, get out. Like simplify. We need to steal more corner boost. Let's focus on the things we could do. Transition. Shoot. Try not to overdo these mechanics on offense. Steal boost, demo from behind, and take a third. I really feel like with your team, you cutting has way more negatives attached to it than you taking a third. And the reason I say that is because like your teammates are like champ two, champ three. They don't look bad. You guys have chemistry. But like your teammate your teammate does not have awareness for you cutting so it looks like you're ball chasing i feel like eventually your team can be built out where you can cut more but again the workflow move the ball up the field shoot recover be quick i talked about this last week with the in out i feel like this is not a step backwards but i feel like some of these mistakes like we need to we're over committing we're trying way too hard shoot Focus your boost, demo, be a third. Simple workflow. That's what I want. I feel like we're just overdoing it and rushing every place of the field. We don't need to cut in some of these places. And everything's encompassed with like taking our time, being a little bit more methodical, being fast by being positionally fast, not decision making or speed or whatever. Take what you're doing and dial it back a notch or two like you're the same player just dial it back we're overdoing it shot quality is not there we don't have corner boost control we don't have demos and we keep cutting off teammates and those are like the problems and it's like just take a third see how like see how teammates rotating into you right now that's the awareness where maybe if you're playing with a full stack Grand Champ 2, Grand Champ 3 team, you can take this cut. But right now, with the way your team is developed, you cannot take these cuts. Because your teammate, as you can see, who is right next to you right now, does not see you. Which is crazy. It's an, it's an awareness thing. 
Um, I don't think mechanics are a problem with the roster. It's more so you need to figure out a way to play aggressive, have a high player impact, but also promote your teammates. And I think a lot of that comes with traditional elements like rotations and positioning and demos and boost control, reducing over commits, increasing recovery speed. Simplify, tone it down a notch. That is the way you move forward with the team. Like it's just sloppy. Not because you're playing bad, but remember what I said last week. For you to carry your team, the number one way for you to carry your team is to play consistent and not dive the ball. It's not play defensive or, right, we score off being offensive right there. I don't want you to play defensive. I just want you to take what you're doing and literally tone it down a notch. Same decision making. Widen those rotations a bit more. A little bit less cut rotation. I would rather see our crazy impact come through boost control like you did right there or demos rather than cuts. I don't think cuts are the most beneficial for your team. Maybe in the future they will be, but not right now. And honestly, I'd like to see you play more gangster scrims. This match looks nice. And it's, it's showing a lot of inconsistencies with you, which is good. That's where I'd leave the replay. Another like interesting thing with, you know, I said widen rotations, become a third more. You could literally like slow down your rotation and, and lurk a, li a little bit more, you know, lurk. Like you're, you're just chilling. You're just, you're driving under supersonic. I feel like we're rotating very, very quickly. And that's what's causing us to lose a little bit of awareness. That's good. It's all about, you want to highlight your teammates. Um, Rocket League, Sweden, thank you for the follow. That was, uh, just to give a little bit of context, that was Virus. Um, he plays, that's a high school team, so he plays, he's a grand champ too, but he plays with two, like, champ two slash champ threes, and they're not bad. They obviously have chemistry on the roster too, which is great, but as a higher level player you have to adjust a couple things to play with lower ranks if they're if it is a team which is common in collegiate or high school